He's coming up to me right now. What? He's. Oh no, he got scared of it. Damn it. Oh, that was a fish? Dude, he was flying up to it. Oh, you think it was me that scared him away? Oh, right here. What? Yep. Yes. Just oh, absolutely smoked cow. it. Yes. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Woo! Oh, little walleye. He was coming up to it as I was dropping it down. It's a beautiful walleye right there, folks. Hopefully we can get some more. That was exciting, I'm not gonna lie. Saw it, dude. All right, Thad thinks he has a bite. Okay, yeah, there's one right there. Set the hook, set it. Oh, you got one. Heck yeah. Oh, a little walleye. a boy. Nice little 12 inch walleye there, folks. It's a pretty, pretty walleye. What do you think, Thad? You know, I think it's a pretty great fish. This is actually my first yeah. fish I've ever caught ice fishing. First so. ice fish, dude. Yeah, pretty exciting. Right on. That's pretty. We got the sun coming up. Thad caught his first walleye through the ice. Pretty exciting. Right on. All right, guys, we decided to change locations. Uh, we caught two walleyes out on Sinai. There's a hot bite on a lake probably a half hour from here. So we decided to go try that out. We kind of, we just gave up on Sinai. It's freezing out and we needed to warm up. We also needed to get the essentials. Right here we got some Mountain Dew. Obviously we gotta have that today. Some Doritos, breakfast sandwich, breakfast pizza. Gotta have it. <laughs> that's a perch. Oh, that's awesome. No, it's a northern. Holy I need to tighten geez. my drag up. This thing's going psycho. Oh, he is Oh that my. Up. No. No. Oh my. What a psycho. <laughs> what oh is. My yeah, God. come on, dude. Like, <laughs> what, are you, what good are you doing yourself right now? Jeez. I thought it was a big perch. That's disappointing, but better than nothing, I guess. I'd say. Just a big old gator hitting the rip and wrap. Okay. Thanks a lot. There you go, folks. We have a nice little pike there. He was kind of a turd, but we're gonna release him. He's not big enough to eat. See ya. Oh, there's a little pike. Oh, cool. Is that all we can catch today is pike? I guess so. Like, jeez, I thought there was perch in this lake. <laughs> Are you mad that I reeled up your fish? I'm pretty butthurt. <laughs> no, I don't care. No, if it was a... If it was a big old jumbo, you would have been mad. We're out here on Lake Whitewood. Um, I guess Thad's gonna interview me here. Let's let's roll. Jordan Cooley. Jordan Christopher Cooley. Yes. Why do you like ice fishing? You know, there's a lot of things I love about ice fishing. Um, first of all, I'm I get cabin fever in the winter. I hate being inside. I hate being cooped up indoors. It's just a good way to get out with your buddies and just enjoy the great outdoors. Another reason I enjoy ice fishing, to be honest, I just got into ice fishing in the past few years. Me and my buddies in high school growing up, we never really got too big into ice fishing just because we didn't have any of the gear. You know, it's it's a little bit expensive getting into ice fishing, but now that I have all the gear, it's fun just getting out here, bringing some skis, some chips. It just makes for a great time. Do you like fishing with real bait? Or artificial bait more? Most of the time when I go out, I'll fish one lure with a full minnow on and just use it as a dead stick. 
Um, I don't. I usually don't fish any tip ups. I've just never gotten into tip up fishing. I'll leave this one set. So this is this is actually one of my favorite lures right now. It's a buckshot with the rattle in it. It's got that perch color and it's got the gold back. You can't go wrong with the gold back fishing for, for perch. Um, it's also got the rattles in there. I don't know how good it is midwinter when all these fish are pretty lethargic and not wanting to feed too hard. But I'll usually fish one rod like this with a full minnow and a lure. And then I'll just jig either a little ratso, like some sort of soft plastic. It doesn't have to be a ratso. Just like this. I usually don't have a minnow on this. We're just bored right now, so we're trying different stuff. But just a little soft plastic like that. Out of all fish, would you say that bullhead tastes the best? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I grew up eating bullhead, so I'm gonna have to go with some nice beer battered cracker. Bullhead is pretty good. When you are ice fishing, how many lines do you prefer to have out? So it kind of depends on the lake. Like these muddy lakes, I feel like it doesn't matter because the fish aren't gonna see your other lines down. But in a lake like Sinai or something like that, where it's super clear. I only like to have one dead stick and one jigging stick. All right, the interview is over. I was pretty nervous for that. It's kind of nerve wracking being interviewed. But if you guys have any questions like some of the ones that asked me, go ahead and comment that in the comments below and hopefully I'll answer to those questions for you guys in a future video. Coolie Outdoors.